Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video uh, I wanted to make on the separating hyperplane theorem. Let's just go and get right into what this thing is. So if set A and set B are two non-empty disjoint convex sets in a Rn space, meaning a real number space of dimension n, then there exists a linear functional such that p of x greater than py for all x, right, which is a point in A, and for all y in B. So we have this P here, which is our functional. Uh, by example, we're going to consider this case where we have two convex sets and we have, you know, two points uh, within that sets or, you know, really any two points in the set. We say that there is, you know, a plane that goes and separates these two and we can have multiple planes uh, here, right? We just say that there exists one, uh, but that doesn't go and limit there being, you know, more than one. Now, why is this important? So price is a numerical condition of transaction. That's how I want to preface this. When we demonstrate that there exists a separating hyperplane, qualitatively speaking, we say that the assignment of resources is possible through prices. That's what we're going and saying. So let's talk about cases where this does not work. So we're going to go and have the same theorem, except we're going to have two sets which are not disjoint. So we have something like this here. We have A and B, but here they go and they share uh, some something between them. So again, as a, as a reference tool, right, this is a real number line and this is real number line. We can't go and separate uh, these two with a hyperplane. We can't go and do that. Um, practically speaking, what that means is that if you know, we live in the same house and we have, you know, uh, some food with the, which is, you know, available to both of us and we haven't really defined uh, who owns that. Um, we can't really go and, you know, coordinate who exactly is going to get that and we can't employ prices to go and coordinate that. Um, only once we have, you know, things which are well defined, like what is mine and what is yours, uh, could we go and do that. So this is the case where it's not disjoint. Now let's consider the case where uh, we don't have convexity, but we have disjointness. So we have something like this here and this here. Let's call this set A and call this set B, right? Now, what ends up going and happening here is that we want to say that this is for all points X. So let's go and consider uh, the case where we want to go and talk about uh, there being a separating hyperplane, uh, so to say, for you know this point y, right? That's a point y and a point in here of x. So this is just you know this is not really uh, going to uh, go and work out, um, primarily because we'll we'll go and run into this issue of uh, convexity here. Um, so if we were to go and draw a hyperplane here that's just you know not really going to work we can't go and say that uh there is one um i think more explicitly it would be a case where we have something like this right in that case you know no hyperplane is uh really possible um in terms of an economic interpretation it is hard uh to really go and give one in the case of not convex uh, here, but this is you know just really a mathematical result. So um, this is my understanding of the separating hyperplane theorem, and I just want to communicate uh, how to think about it from a economic point of view. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Take care.